in my shop, I charge more for animals with horns like pronghorn antelope and sheep and goats because it's a little bit different process to finish out their heads. Uh, with deer, you just simply cut the skull cap and clean the skull top and screw the antlers to the form. It's a little bit more involved for these antelope and I'm about to show you what I have to do to get these ready to mount. Here we have a fresh pronghorn antelope um, that I've skinned out and capped. The horns seem really solid on here. They are, they won't budge right now. Uh, but they actually have a whole inner core that is made of hair and meat, and nasty stuff inside here that needs to be cleaned out. Every year when they shed their horns, these will actually pop off. These sheaths come off and the new horn is underneath, ready to go. Um, so I, I start by taking a drill bit and drilling just a little pilot hole in the back. This is not going to hurt the horns. You'll hardly see it. Anyway, in the end, I'll put a tiny little bit of epoxy putty over top of it to hide what little pinhole there is. But this is going to help the water and steam get down in there and pop the horn off uh, while I'm processing it. So I'm just going to come to the back of the horn and just drill in right here. I'll do one on each side. Now I've got me a pot of water here and it's not boiling. We just want to get this basically to um, barely a simmer. And yes, I am in my house, in my kitchen. I don't have a good burner out in my shop. So I do this in the house. Guys, uh, if you do this in your wife's kitchen, do it at your own risk. This is the beauty of uh, being a female taxidermist who owns the house and the shop. <laughs> so I've got this simmering and I'm going to put the horns in and just let one side um, soak down in there. I don't have a pot big enough to do both at a time. It would take a really large pot. So I'm just going to put one side of the horns down in here and let it simmer again, not boil, um, but just simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'm going to check on the progress here. All right. This side of the horn has been simmering for a little bit. And at this point, one thing I like to do is slide up underneath the base with a knife, kind of detach it, because this is where it's going to hang up, if it's going to. You can also use a um, screwdriver flathead and kind of get up in there and fry the base a bit. All right, get ready because this is where it all goes down. I like to put it on the floor with a towel and step on it and I'm going to twist side to side while pulling upwards. And here it comes. Here we go. It's, it's coming off. Check out that. And some nasty stuff. It's got hairs on it. This is what would have been um, the, the new horn underneath. This definitely has to come off. And now this is this comes out completely clean inside. Once I clean this off, it'll just slip right back down. But did you know that was inside there? This is surprisingly easy to clean off. Since it's been simmered a little bit, it's just gonna scrape right off with a knife. And you can also pull it with a towel. It just comes off in a piece like that. Come over here and get this side. Look how, look how clean that is. And I'll clean this up with a little bit more simmering and some borax, but um, then I'll just bondo this horn right back on when it's um, ready to be mounted and it'll be all clean inside. And the little pilot holes that I drilled are also visible uh, here on the bone. So you can actually stick a 
little pin or small wire through here and make sure that you get them exactly the right height. That'll help you line it up to its original height. Now we just do the other side, 15, 20 minutes, and it'll be done.